All right, on this episode of Bouts Talking Bouts, happy to be talking to an individual who has a big fight coming up at Invicta FC 36. It's going on August 9th. Going to be a great, great tilt there in the flyweight division. Caitlin Salmon's going to be taking on Chantel Coates, and I actually have Chantel on the show. How's your day going so far there, Chantel? My day's going good. My day's going good. How about yours? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm just wondering what the, I guess, preparatory measures are like leading up to this fight. Like, who are some of the, I guess, regular sparring partners you're getting in that work with ahead of this big fight here? Um, I've been boxing with Kate, um, Kate. she's a boxer, um, been going to Glory, so there's some sparring rounds there, and then my home gym, just some regular sparring, my sparring partner's there. Yeah, and I've seen a couple gyms you were affiliated with, like Tapology. it says you're affiliated with a group called AJJ, but I've also seen a couple of other gyms listed, so I'm, I'm guessing I'm kind of curious to that point, like where's the base gym for you there? My base gym is Saga Sue. And then the other gyms are just those just gyms that cross train after sparring room. And I'm kind of curious, too, if you're one of those fighters who, like, diligently studies tape on your opponent. I mean, your opponent seems to have a commensurate level of experience as you, so it's not like there's, like, a huge library to go through necessarily. But I'm kind of curious, are you one of those people who kind of checks out the tape yourself? Do you sort of allow your camp to do that and then focus on your own efforts within training? Like, how do you compartmentalize all that and everything? Yeah, my camp. I can't watch the fights. I think I watched one of the fights. I just watched the Invicta anyways because I was watching it. So I did see that her last fight. But my camp can't watch the fights and they come up with a plan for me. Yeah, for sure. And I had noticed in some prior interviews you said you thought you kind of started late in the game. Do you feel like there's that like extra importance on like the pace like are you like are there certain measures you need to take where you feel like you're putting in like that extra work maybe as compared to some of your contemporaries like how do you I guess mitigate the whole you know starting late in the game thing and then try to like get to where you want to be skill wise well at first I think I started to be like that more of like the anxiety training trying to feel like I needed to catch up on some areas. But then it, the, co- the whole concept of it's kind of the same in a lot of the, the different styles of fighting, so it was easy for me to pick up. So I'm just kind of focused on things I'm good at and uh, work harder on things I need to work on. And I'm kind of curious because I noticed that you had kind of started with Muay Thai and everything like that. Was there that always, or was the goal always there rather to want to compete and to get out there and do it professionally? Was it kind of like you wanted to train it and then just sort of like use it as a means of fitness and see how you enjoyed it? Like, was there anything like that? Or was the goal always to, you know, want to eventually compete? Um, I took the class just for conditioning. And then uh, at Glory was that coming. And then I took a fight. And after that, it, just, it started to be a career choice for me. I fell in love with it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And, I mean, the Muay Thai acumen was reflected in the last fight there. I mean, getting that fastest KO in Invicta history, I mean, that has to have been an amazing feeling. I mean, you just put all that work into it and arguably couldn't have got a you know, better result there. Yeah, yeah, I worked really hard for that fight. Does that inform your mentality at all heading into this fight here? Like, is there any uh, maybe different expectations heading into this? Or is each fight just sort of its own instance, like clean slate, you go into it? Like, are you carrying any kind of residual momentum from the nature of your last fight into this one? Or is it just clean slate? Let's just kind of see what happens when we get out there. It's kind of a clean slate. Yeah, I guess you have to create, you have to, yeah. I'm trying to be right in the present, you know? Absolutely. Definitely important to be in the present, though. But I guess uh, to the point of maybe looking towards the future, do you have any particular goals within Invicta FC, like anything mapped out specifically or kind of just like take it fight to fight and sort of just like you said, kind of maintain yourself in the present? Right now, it's just fight to fight, maintaining myself. Uh, You know, I know I have a lot more growing I want to do. So, um, you know, it could be I'm just hard on myself right now, but I just right now I'm just doing fight by fight. Yeah, and I also noticed you teach gymnastics as well, and it seems like the kids are, you know, big fans and everything like that. Like, I think you had, like, the drawing there, like they did did in the journal and everything like that. How cool is it to have that sort of support and kind of people rallying behind you from, you know, just different aspects of your life and everything? That is very cool. It's probably one of the, my favorite parts about fighting, 
is the inspiration that I give to young children. So it's pretty cool, yeah. I was surprised that they even came, and then, you know, to even make a little journal about me, it was pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm kind of wondering, because I'm noticing uh, you worked in or you work in logistic control for an artillery brigade in the Missouri National Guard and just like a lot of military affiliations there. With your time in the military, did it teach you a sense of, you know, work ethic and like a certain mentality that you carry over into your MMA training? Like, was your time there invaluable in the sense of creating like that kind of mindset for mixed martial arts competition? Yes, especially the discipline. And um going when when the coach says to go, you know, wild question, wild thinking, just the, the right-of-way movement. You know, because when you stop and think, it's when you get hit. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm kind of curious if there's, like, any certain, like, go-to music you like to train to in the gym or if maybe you're, like, one of those fighters who, you know, replicates the conditions of fight night and sort of trains in silence. Like, what's your, I guess, methodology? Are there any specific genres you're jamming out to while getting in those hard training sessions or not so much? You know, I, I don't really have, um, it seems like I can train to any type of music, or anything that's kind of like a passion in music, something where they're just, uh, where I can feel it, and I can just get on the, you know, just get on the rhythm with it. It's pretty easy for me to get on to. But some days, some days it's metal, some days it's, some days it's um, hip-hop, some days it's Christian music, just whatever. Whatever I feel like the song is very passionate, I feel like I can just really connect to it. No, that's interesting. I haven't heard someone like talk about like the passion aspect so much of it. A lot of fighters will talk about it in terms of like they'll listen to like dance music, for instance, because they'll get a certain like beats per minute going on and work the footwork. But I kind of like what you're saying. Like it doesn't really matter the genre so much just as there's, you know, or just as long rather as there's that passion underneath it. You get all fired up and you can get that training in. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the best word verbiage I can use for it. Yeah, no, that's cool. And uh, yeah, I'm just curious if there's anything you want to add as a parting thought here. You've been great with your time. Um, I just want to thank uh, thank you for this interview. Thank you for thinking of me. And uh, uh, I want to thank everybody who supports me and thank my sponsors for, um, you know, taking a chance on me and believing me as well. Thank you, Shanna, for giving me a chance to be on a victim once again. And I hope to see everyone there or at least watch me in UFC Fight Pass. And thank you again. Yeah, it's going to be a great fight. Caitlin Salmon's going to be taking on Chantel Coates. That goes August 9th. That's going to be on Invicta, on Invicta FC 36. Invicta always delivering some great fights, and I think this one will kind of follow in that trend. Thanks for the time and insights there, Chantel. Best of luck with the rest of your training, and also enjoy the rest of your day, too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.